Hello, so in my first video I made the mistake of uh, loading uh, I made the mistake of loading from the desktop file which was the uh, boots.bin file for the uh, data pack so this wasn't actually the folder that was supposed to be loading the game uh, files but the actual one the actual file that I want to load is the uh, cider one which is from here this is this one that I want to load from here so you want to see where your cider is installed go to live cpk boot root common and uh, just to just to clear up the confusion from the last video so this is the file that this is the program that I use <coughs> and uh, that's my email if you want to message me or ask me something about the game and uh, yeah this will start clear just in case it was confusing before. Okay, and uh, what you want to do, you want to extract the CPK file, uh, create the dummy folder as I said in the previous video. So once you've created the dummy folder of the uh, 0064 folder, you will have this. Okay, down URL, see, fills it out. You need to untick this. And uh, we need to go go to the location that I showed earlier. So that's the uh, live CPK boot root common is database. Go boot stop bin. Okay, open. While this loads, I'm just going to go into the uh, edit section. So if you've watched part one or the first video that had the mistake, you'll have seen that the uh, ID that I used was one zero six five, which is ten sixty five, and. Uh, that was the, the ID that I used for the new boots. So, as with the previous video, I also edited this uh, boots bin file in the exact same way with the exact same data. Here it is 1065. This is created. So, you click new and you fill it out. Uh, you have this information here. Click apply. Okay, click apply then save. Wait for it to finish saving. And uh, just to show this is the one that has the boot pack applied and it's not the uh, default one. So we're just going to go to Messy again. And as you can see, this is the original one that I had first. As you can see, the uh, preview for this still doesn't load. However, I have this now. So if I activate this, you can see Messi's boots have changed. So it does work. Just make sure you load the correct boots file from a uh, cider and not from the uh, data pack three folder that you've uh, extracted out. So yeah. Also, just as a note, this is what the uh, boots look like in the boot pack, the uh, original boot pack. And this is what the uh, data pack three ones look. So this is data pack three. This is uh, data pack three. This is Opus. Yeah. Uh, you can see the comparison. Yeah. yeah. You can see that they're slightly different if you want to really edit those and move them. I've done it for these two boots. Uh, these are the boots as well. They do the same thing. But yeah. These are just some examples of the uh, old ones from the Opus Boot Pack, and this is from Data Pack 3 Official Pez. But yeah, thanks for watching.